in the score. That game is coming up in most of the country after this one. It will not, however, be seen in the New York City area. There's Dave Meggett on first and goal down to the seven-yard line. Gerald Nichols makes the tackle. Well, for the Philadelphia Eagles, the injury list grows. Bobby Brister out. Keith Millard out. And for the New York Giants, uh, they've got to be very content, I would think, Dan. It's been another uh, impressive showing, both offensively and defensively, for the Giants, although they did suffer an injury to Mike Sherrard. And they're going to get an extra week or an extra two days off this week. They're going to have five days off for the bye week. And here's Megan knocked down as he gets uh, back within one yard of the line of scrimmage. Now the first round pick, Leonard Renfro, number 94, is going to meet Dave Meggett helmet to helmet here. Pretty good shot. Sends little tiny Dave Meggett sideways. And the Eagles burn their final time out. That stops the clock with 1-0-1 remaining in regulation. And the Dan Reeves Giants leading by 11. 108 now officially left. He uh, put seven seconds back on the scoreboard. There's Leonard Renfro, rookie, and here's Phil Simmons. Phil Simmons? Phil Simmons. <laughs> His name has grown. Yeah. There's Byron Evans. We thought we had a terrific story last night when he let us know what his middle name was. Well, his nickname is B-N-E. I asked him, what's the N stand for? He said, it's for Nelson. I said, Byron Nelson? Evans? And he said his folks didn't play golf at all. Uh, Nelson's just a family name. And he was really a hacker. <laughs> I said, no, tell us you're a poor handicap. It's a terrific story. <laughs> they hand it off to Meggett, and he's going to be down at the seven-yard line. That'll bring up fourth down. And uh, Matt, uh, rather, uh, David Treadwell, I think, will stay on the sidelines, or will he come in? Well, I think yeah. that uh, Reeves will just run the clock out. The Giants will run one more play. And, of course, uh, the Eagles will then take over, and the clock will stop on change of possession, but that does the Eagles uh, little or no good at all. There will be no miracle three here at the Meadowlands for Philadelphia. Eagles have a bye week. Dan Reeves does as well. Then they're back here to face the New York Jets. And then a big, big game when they go down and take on the Dallas Cowboys the first weekend in November. Oh, on fourth down for McCaffrey. And a flag is down in the end zone. They're going to get Eric Allen for pass interference. They'll put it at the one-yard line. Baby's not over yet. Richie Kotite. Uh, not sure how surprised he was, if he was, at the pass in the end zone. Of course, 11-point lead. It's, you know. Well, and one of the tiebreakers in the league. When you get to the end of the season, is uh, is points scored and points scored within the, the in, within the division? Easy for me to say. Well, you know what? I've heard that uh, argument now for about 17, 18 years, and it's never come never down to it. Has ever it? come down to it? Yeah. But it's a heck of a good excuse when the other <laughs> coach on the other sidelines ticked off at you for going for the touchdown. Exactly. That's Aaron Pierce, and here's Megan two-yard line. This game is presented by authority of the National Football League and the CBS telecast intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of CBS, the New York Giants, and the National Football League is prohibited. Dan Reeves and the New York Giants Go to five and one. Richie Kotite and the Philadelphia Eagles are four and two. They lose their second in a row. And these two former rivals as players and now rivals as coaches meet and shake hands at the middle of the field. We'll be going back to the studio with Greg and Terry in just a moment. Our final score, 21-10. The Giants win it. For Dan Fouts, I'm Bruno Lundquist saying so long from New York. 21-10, New York wins. Coming up next on CBS. It's the second game of our doubleheader. 
you'll see either the San Francisco and Dallas game in a rematch of last year's NFC Championship or Washington and Phoenix. Then at 8 o'clock, join CBS Sports for Game 2 of the World Series. CBS Sports coverage of the National Football League will continue after this word from your local station.